This is a New Zealand Defence Force Patrol Ration Pack, or the PRP. Now weighing in at 1 pound 8 ounces and containing approximately 1200 calories, the PRP is a supplementary meal to the standard 24 hour operational ration pack or used in conjunction with on-base field kitchen meals. The PRP can be used during training exercise, deployments, and humanitarian disaster response missions. It comes in four separate menus, this one being menu A. So let's give it a look. So right off the bat, we have a little Whitaker's chocolate bar. Sante, 72% dark Ghana. That's an interesting chocolate bar. So this ration was produced in 2016 and only has a one year shelf life. Right, so then we have a pack of cashews. Okay, so then we have some cabin bread. And also a Vita Sport electrolyte beverage base. Not bad. Some strawberry fruit grains, a small spoon, a little 120 gram thermostabilized retort pouch of just simply custard. That sounds interesting. Has a nice gusset on the bottom of that pouch so it can stand up on its own. Look at this. This is the only New Zealand ration I've ever seen with a flameless ration heater. Now the main course, which is beans bangers, and chicken bacon, 300 gram pack, also with a nice gusset. And information guide for users, individual patrol ration pack. Oh wow, you know what, the first thing I see is this it was made by Lockheed Martin. That's, that's really interesting right there. You can pause and read this if you'd like. Provides extensive information on the ration and its general scope of design how to use the FRH, some interesting information there. And it also gives you the menu lineup for not just pack A, but B, C, and D. Pack D looks very simple. All right, so let's get this sat onto a tray. Nice, okay, so let's first start off with that main course. Beans, bangers, and chicken bacon. Nice little 300 gram main. Look at that heating element. That thing's got some weight to it. I have a feeling this thing's gonna really be a banger. Now hot custard is best as a topping for something else, so I'm gonna leave that custard cold and as is. We'll just heat up the beans and bangers. Wanna equalize that water on this heating element. You can hear it sizzling just a little bit. Not bad. Look at that. Cool. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's check out that drink. Oh wow, it's really doing its thing now. That's amazing. Check that out. That is one of the most aggressive sounding FRHs I've ever heard. Look at that. It's sizzling down there. It's like literally boiling the water. Amazing. So let's check out that Active Blue Vitasport Electrolyte Beverage Base. Calls for 750 milliliters. I'm gonna make it double strength in this. Use this Cyclamate Saccharin, which sure beats aspartame, I'll say that. Oh, that smells incredible. It smells like blue raspberry.
that has quite the blue glow to it. Okay. Give a quick look at these cashews. Oh, they smell perfectly fresh, that's for sure. A little pack here. I gotta grab a cashew real fast. Actually, three of them. Mmm. Lightly salted, not stale whatsoever. Good quality cashews. Such a fine flavor. Subtle, buttery flavor with the salt. I'm gonna follow up a little bit of this blue drink. Oh wow. That's like blue raspberry. And it's definitely strong. Calls for 750 milliliters. When you put it in half that, well, it's very sweet, but it's saccharin. So it's low in actual sugar. It's not gonna give you a real sugar rush or crash afterwards, but it is a sweetener, which I find any sweetener to be kind of unfortunate. Now this cabin bread, let's see what this is looking like. Mostly cabin bread, it's like, they're like really busted up biscuits. Hmm, they're buttery, a lot of shortening. Probably not a very sh long shelf life to them, I'll say that. For the way they taste, and their actual texture, which is just a very crisp and somewhat dry biscuit. I feel like these will be excellent with the main, but just on their own, other than having a little bit of a buttery shortening flavor, they're somewhat bland. They have almost no, little to no salt in them, which that's all right. They're just a very basic biscuit or cracker. Now these strawberry fruit grains, they give you a little 30 gram pack of these. That's the best strawberry fruit snack kind of smell. It makes my mouth water. It's kind of tangy with a interesting kind of velvety texture to them. I don't want to miss any of those. Yeah, you know, they kind of stick together. Well, just grab a couple. Hmm. They're not very sweet. Just a really nice prevalent strawberry flavor that doesn't taste like they're adding a whole bunch of extra sugar. It tastes pretty natural. Hmm, that's an awesome little on-to-go carbohydrate pick-me-up. So now the Whitaker's chocolate, a little 25 gram bar in this unusual shape here. Very thin. Wow, that's a rich 72% cacao dark chocolate bar right there. Mm, that smells top notch. Look at that glisten to it. That's some shiny dark chocolate. And then this custard. Oh wow, look at that. Mm, it smells like an incredible amount of vanilla. It almost has a slight liqueur kind of smell to it. 120 gram thermostabilized stabilized retort pouch. It's the same size pouch as the other, but they just don't put as much in there. Now this is quite the dessert. I wonder what the shelf life for this is. That is such an inviting aroma. That vanilla is strong and smells very natural. Just looks like some pudding. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't heat this up. This is perfect looking consistency as is. So now that FRH is still working. Should start with dessert. That's always the best way to go. So this custard. Hmm. Now that's not overly sweet at all. This stuff is amazing. It looks a lot like butterscotch, but it tastes like just straight up vanilla. It's lightly sweet. It's not overly sweet at all. That's a perfect texture. Definitely a step up from snack pack pudding here in the US. This is some of the best pudding that I've ever had. So custard is the word over there. We call this pudding here. And it's a creamy, like very natural vanilla flavor. Not vanillin, you know, the fake stuff. That's real vanilla. You can taste it. It almost tastes like there's a little bit of alcohol in it, almost. Which is really something. That's, I mean, I keep tasting that. That is exquisite. I'll follow it up with some more cashews. 
a great on-the-go snack, high fat, dense calories. Mm. And that little bit of salt, that's a nice pick-me-up. I'd have to say, I wish these biscuits had salt, but I can imagine the main course will. Nice jiggle. And a nice flavor, too. This thing's um, quite the snack pack, I'll tell you. These strawberry fruit grains, they don't stick in your teeth. They're not too sweet, but they still have a nice mouth-watering, all-natural strawberry flavor. I could eat all those in a handful if I weren't careful. Follow it up with this intense blue raspberry drink. You can definitely taste the electrolytes in that one. That would be a great thing to have to encourage fluid intake. 750 milliliters. Drop that in your canteen and you're good to go. So then this Whitaker's chocolate. 72% cacao dark Ghana. Sounds really fancy. Smells fancy. Mm. And it tastes it too. That's strong and not sweet, really, at all. It's not too dry either. And oddly enough, for being 72% cacao, it's not overpowering. It's perfectly blended. Again, I'd have to say the portion size for that chocolate's just a little small. But this is just a single meal. I think it's really well heated through. I think it's ready. This FRH has been going on for about 15 minutes now. And it's still kind of running strong here, still making noise. I think it's ready to go. Okay. So that feels like it's evenly heated perfectly, too. That looks awesome. Oh, that smells amazing. It smells like barbecue baked beans. Look at that. has a little bit more of a complex smell than just simply beans with tomato sauce, that's for sure. Let's get a little everything there. Oh, I see some of that chicken bacon. Can't miss that. Wanting to get away from me there. There we go. That's a nice big bite. Mm. Wow, that's tender. That's just a melt-in-your-mouth kind of consistency. You wouldn't even need teeth to eat this. That's for sure. That's smoky. Is that some onion right there? Yes, it is. Look at that. There's onion, mm. and that has a perfect texture to it. The tomato sauce has a little bit of molasses. It has like a slight ketchup flavor, but not cheap. And almost a little bit of a barbecue thing going on. But again, nothing overpowering. Doesn't need salt or any seasoning. The onion doesn't have a firm, weird texture to it at all. Like this little piece of onion here, I just want to try that. Again, yeah, it just melts in your mouth. Everything. It seems like very slow cook. Check that out. You know, out of the four mains and out of those four menus, this is the one I bet guys are fighting over. I might be wrong, but this is top notch right here. It's not really hot dog. It's definitely a step up from that. Look. It has a nice dark color to it. It's processed, but it doesn't taste like cheap hot dog. So much more than that. It's smoky, savory. It's not too salty, but this dish definitely has some flavor to it. Just enough salt to bring it out. The potatoes, let's get a nice big bite of those. They're not too soft. There's a little bit of bite to them. I guess you would need teeth to eat this, but you'd probably only need like three teeth. No joke. This is really easy to eat, perfect for breakfast. This meal, I just can't even believe how good this is. So much more than just some canned baked beans, I'll say that. Hmm. The cabin bread gives this more texture and crunch. Just gonna break up a few of these in there. A few extra bites of cabin bread crunch. You know, the cabin bread on its own, it's kind of underwhelming. And it seems like it doesn't hold up if you were out on the go. These things would bust up even worse than they did here. So, you know, if they were really mashed up and a mess, even more reason to drop them into the main course. This. This is the best beans and franks main course I've ever had in a ration by a long shot. That molasses, it's a little bit sweet, you know, but a sweet and savory combination. I'm really liking that cabin bread now. I can't stop eating this. It's so good. This is a top-notch main course and it's super fresh too. It was made less than a year ago, probably at the tail end of 2016. Absolute oldest September of last year. I don't want to miss a bit of this. I just love that sauce. Any of these sides, really when the main course is heating up, your best bet's just eat everything else. That FRH works great but it's kind of slow. It heats it slowly. It takes like 10 to 15 minutes at least. 
this PRP is awesome. Go back to a little more chocolate. That is exquisite chocolate. Whitaker is on point. It's not bland at all. It's sweet, smoky, and savory. The chicken bacon really didn't taste like bacon at all. That was probably something that could get replaced with regular bacon and be a lot better. But it still didn't really suffer from it, I'll say that. I'm gonna miss that flavor. So then this chocolate. It's strong, a little bit dry, but not too dry. Relatively sweet. And it it's not very shelf stable, excuse me. It melts a little too easily. These cashews, again, very good. Probably not a very long shelf life. That chocolate out in a hot climate would melt real fast. That's strong. It would actually taste a little bit diluted. The drink would taste a little weak if you had it with 750 milliliters. It has a very prevalent blue raspberry kind of flavor to it. Blueberry, raspberry, it's very sweet. A little bit artificial, but maybe a little bit too blue. That's okay. I like blue. It's custard. This tastes like something you'd get out of a decent quality restaurant. That smell literally just smells like the, you know, when you ever open up a bottle of vanilla and you know, it's the alcohol smell and um, it's strong. This has that. It's strong with vanilla. Another flavor I'm going to be missing and thinking about later. But when you get something so rare like this, you'll be thinking about it later. You could eat some dessert that you could go like years before finding it again or never find it again just think about the one time you've had it i guess it's part of the allure of this whole thing now the strawberry fruit grains i'm pretty sure you can get these in combat ration one man cr1m's australian and they put a lot of thought into this ration the cashews a nice natural snack and for something that's high fat the poly and monounsaturated fats in these cashews Again, not going to bog you down, good quality fats, good quality food. I think the least healthy thing in this would be the drink with the saccharin sweetener, which still, world's better than aspartame. Well, that was a New Zealand Defense Force patrol ration pack, menu A. That was an incredible ration right there. Everything worked perfectly together. None of the flavors conflicted, all of the components of utmost quality and fresh. Thanks again to Tim for sending this to me. This was amazing. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.